beriberi, disease caused by vitamin B1 or thiamine deficiency. There is wet beriberi and dry beriberi. This is a heart connected to systemic circulation. And now we have a vitamin called thiamine. B1, vitamin B1. Deficiency of this vitamin may cause wet or dry beriberi. Now what happened in wet beriberi is that there is peripheral vasodilation. Peripheral vasodilation. So the artery in the periphery become dilated. Vasodilation. And because of the vasodilation, now the heart will need to pump more blood to maintain the blood pressure and to maintain the tissue perfusion. Because this vasodilation usually mediated by adenosine. So thiamine deficiency cause more adenosine and that mediate the vasodilation and the sequence of that the heart will need to bump more and with time that will cause cardiomyopathy so the heart will need to enlarge in size to get more blood to get outside and development of cardiomyopathy another thing that happened in wit very very is that the kidney will sense that decreased blood going to vital organs. So because of the vasodilation, vital organs will get less blood and that is sensed by the kidney and the kidney will cause water and fluid retention. So more water and salt will get inside and will decrease in urine production of water. So more water and salt will get to the, to the circulation and that results in development of edema. So in wet beriberi, look here, Wet beriberi affect the heart and circulation. There is dilated cardiomyopathy and edema. Now in dry beriberi, there is damage to the nervous system and muscle strength. So the dry beriberi will affect nerve and nervous system. Thiamine is important for functions of the nerves. So that's why there is another disease called dry beriberi that causes damage to the nerves and muscle strength. And if not treated, beriberi may cause death. What is the most common cause of beriberi? 
it's most commonly caused by alcohol, alcohol alcoholism because alcohol inhibit thiamine absorption from intestine and also cause malnutrition.